Hey guys, it's Misty. Uh, I just wanted to shoot a quick video and show you how I use Evernote to store my stamps and my dies. Uh, I actually, I, I started storing my embossing folders and, <clears throat> excuse me, um, my stencils this way too. But for this video, I'm going to show you how I, uh, what I do when I get a new stamp set or a new die. So the first thing I do is I jump on good old Google here and... I'm going to type in the stamp set that I'm looking for in order to get an image of it. This one is the Ornate Love stamp set by Simon Says Stamp. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on images. And depending on it, whether I have the stamp set or the die, or in this case, I, ha I, I, ha I got both the stamp set and the die. So you can choose whichever image you want. Now, you want to look out for this number here. This is 500 by 500, so it's a pretty decent size, but I don't usually go below 500. It just makes the image smaller, which I'll show you here in a second. Um, I saw one here that was 350. Yes, yeah, so this one is 350. And I'll go ahead and show you the difference here. Now, this is a decent size image. Basically, the size that you see here is the size that's going to save it in Evernote. Uh, where did that... Where did that 351 go? See, this one is a little bit smaller and it's it's personal preference. I tend to choose images that are 500 and above, um, you know, just because you can make the image smaller, you just can't make it any bigger than the size that you saved it as. So I'll show you how to do that when we get in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open this image and I'm gonna right click it and I'm gonna do copy image. Then I'm going to jump over into Evernote and I'm already in my stamps folder, but, uh, just in the habit of clicking on it, but you can see up at the top it says stamps uh, and here's all the stamps I have stored in here. Right here it'll tell you how many entries you have and I'm going to go ahead and click on new note and I'm going to give it a title, but first I'm going to jump down in to the body of the entry here and I'm going to right click or command V if you're on a Mac and paste my image. So here's where I was saying you can make your image smaller. You just can't make it any bigger than the size you saved it as. Now I'm going to go up here and give it a title and I store all my stamps with the name of the stamp company first and then the name of the stamp. Then I'm going to put a little asterisk next to it and that just lets me know that I have the matching die. I, I just try to put in as many visual reminders as I can to let me know whether I have the die or not. So I can just look at it quickly and know that yes, I have the die for this stamp set. So I'm going to put in SSS. I'm going to put in Simon Says Stamp so I can pull it up either way. I'm going to put in the name of the stamp set. And I... I put the name of the stamp set because in the past, I, when I've had that asterisk there, I've looked up the name of a stamp and it didn't come up because it was expecting, you know, that extra character there. So you might be able to put a space and then the asterisk and that might work, but it's just, I just put the name of the stamp set in the tags as well. So now I'm going to list all the sentiments. So that way I could just put in the word you if I'm looking for just a stamp. I just want to stamp the word you. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna list all the stamps. So see how it says has two uh, stamps that say the word love? It will not allow you to put love in twice. So if you already have it in there, it's just gonna throw it out, which is nice. So you don't end up with a bunch of unnecessary tags. So I'm just gonna go ahead and luckily the stamp set doesn't have very many sentiments on it. But I've, this is the second time I've recorded this, so you can see I've already, uh, it, it, it pops up there. So if you have uh, a sentiment with that particular wording already, it'll pop up like that. And then you can just hit enter and it'll, it'll throw it in there. And then anything I can think of that, um, you know, I might want to look up down the road. So I put hearts. I mean, you can get as specific as you want. Or don't want it's up to you 
And then you just have, you, you can hit enter or comma and it'll, um, it'll move on to the next one. So now I'm going to save this in three places. I'm going to save it in my stamps, my coordinating dies, and I'm also going to save it in my standalone dies since it has dies that I can use without the stamp sets. Um, now let's say you're in the stamp folder and you don't realize you're in the stamp folder, you want to save a die and you click on new note and see right here, it'll tell you which folder you're in. And I'm in the wrong folder. So you just click on that and then you choose which folder you want to move it to. They make it really easy. So I'm going to save this in my die folder. So this is my coordinating dies that I have here. I'm going to use the same image. So I just right clicked again and pasted it. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm, I save the company first, the name of the die, and then I put the word die after, and then my little asterisk, which lets me know I have the stamp set as well. So I'm pretty much going to do the same thing here, but I'm not going to put all the name, um, all the sentiments in here because now I'm just focusing on the die. So anything looking at the die that I might want to search down the road. So I put in coordinating dies so I know that I have the matching stamp set. I'm going to put in hearts, heart. I, I don't know if you need to do that, but I do. <laughs> so I'll put the, the two words that it has there, the love and the you. And the hearts are kind of nesting, so I put in nesting, nestable. And now I'm going to do the same thing in my standalone dies. So you saw that I clicked on the standalone die folder, but if I didn't, then it's really easy to move. I'm going to right click again in the body here and I'm going to paste it. I'm going to do the same exact thing. It's really, it's, it's really easy to use. And this might be overkill saving it in three folders, but I have a horrible memory. So I just try to, um, save it as many places as I can. So if I just want to look in my standalone dies folder, I can look in it. I can see that little asterisk. I can see the image it has both the stamp and the die. So I just give myself as many visual uh, reminders or clues, I guess, that I can, um, you know, to be as quick as possible. All right. So now if just, just to show you here, uh, I'm going to search for what I just saved and you can search in just a folder if you want to search just your your stamps folder or just your dies folder or you can search all your notes so I'm going to go ahead I don't want to look in just my stamps folder so I'm going to x out of that I don't know why it keeps throwing it in there there we go I'm just going to type in the name ornate love and there you'll see it where I have it saved three times. Now, the only thing I wish they would change is you have to click on each one to see which folder it's saved in. I mean, these could all be saved in the same folder. So I have to click on it and then look to see which folder it's in. So you got my two dies and my two different die folders and then my stamp set here and my stamp folder. And I do it this way so I can look in just a folder, just my stamps folder or just my die folder and I can find what I'm looking for. Um, now if I just, I can do it where I save just the stamp in the stamp folder and then save the image of the die and save that in just the die folder. But I like to visually see that if I see that I have the stamp, then right next to it, it has the die too. So that's just the way I do it, but you can do it however you want. So yeah, so anyway, so I like to be able to just click on my standalone dies and, you know, scroll through here and see what I have if I'm not looking for a particular die or, uh, you know, a theme. Because sometimes I'll just, I'll just look through here and see what I have. These ones are more, the, the die sets are more my coordinating dies where, um, you know, they, they have matching stamp sets. So this is also where I'm storing my stencils and my embossing folders. I mean, you can store anything in here. It's and you it's on your phone. So if you're in a store and you don't want to double purchase something, which is what I was starting to do, uh, I just pull up this app and look in here to see if I already have it, and then either buy it or don't buy it. So it's pretty cool. You can 
I started to do my inks in here too, but I haven't had time to go back to that. So let me show you something cool that I learned today. Um, all right, so if I couldn't find an image online and I wanted to take it myself, I used to have to use my phone, take the picture, and then I would sync it with my computer and then jump back over to my computer and add all the details. But I found this. So if you right click and go down to import from iPhone or iPad, click on take photo. I opened my iPad, opened Evernote, took the picture, and then within a couple seconds, it popped up on my screen here, which is perfect since I used to jump over here and add all the details anyway. So I definitely think I'll be using this little feature here. So I just took, I just, I'm sitting at my computer, so I just took a quick picture of a stamp set that I had sitting next to me, but um, yeah, it's pretty easy. But if you don't, you know, have an iPad or iPhone or just want to use your phone, I'm going to show you how to do that too. But this is a handy little feature that I learned how to do today. So now I got my image and then I will just go through and add all my details. Now this is if I couldn't find an image online. I'm not going to save this because I know there's an image online. All right, let me swap over to my phone and show you how I do it with my phone. All right, so another way to do this, if you don't want to do the way I just showed you with um, the computer, taking the picture, um, you could just go into Evernote here. I'm gonna go into my stamps folder. So um, basically I do this if I can't find an image online. Well, now I'm going to do it the new way I just showed you, but here's what I did before in case you want to do it with your phone. So I'm going to create a new note. Uh, you click on this little plus sign. So this is what I did on the computer. I clicked on the plus sign. I took the picture and then once I saved it, it popped up on my computer, but I'm just going to do this all on my phone here. So I'm going to take a picture of the stamp. I took the plastic off just so there wasn't a glare on it. Take the picture of stamp, and you can either take another picture if you want multiple pictures in there. But I'm just going to go ahead and click on the save here, and I'll give it a title. Now, like I was saying before, a lot of times I would take the picture, I would just click done, let it sync up with the computer, and then I would go and do the title and the tags and all that stuff um, on the computer. But I'll just go ahead and do it all on my phone here. So I'll do the stamp company. It's called Quilted Hearts Background. Quilted Hearts Background. All right, so I got my title. I got it in my stamps folder. I got my image. Now if you click on the little I button, I icon there, um, it brings you to your tags. So this is where I would do just like I did on the computer. Uh, do the name of the stamp set, Quilted Hearts background. And we'll just put background. Um, you do hearts if you want, however, however specific you want to get. And then hit close and there there you go. There you have your entry with your own picture. Uh, and then you would just hit done. Now I I like using the images from um, the computer if I can, just because they're all, you know, they all kind of look the same. They have the white background. And see, this is why I put the name of the stamp company first. That way I have all my Ulta New stamps are all together. And then you know, all my art impression stamps are all together. Avriel and so on and so on. But I'm going to go ahead and delete that one I just saved. Because I know there's an image of this online. So if you guys have any questions, if I went over anything too quickly or um, didn't go over something enough, just let me know and I'll be happy to either explain it to you or... Um, I delete it that way or um, do another video if I need to. 
So I guess to delete it, you gotta open it. Click on the three little lines there, move to trash. There we go. So anyway, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. I'll see you next week. Bye.